So I got a message from Tech Doctor UK today saying he developed a new app for your Fire Stick and I thought I would review it and also show you how it can help you speed up your Fire Stick. Now, if you don't know Tech Doctor UK, he does tons of Fire Stick content, uh, Android device content to help you get the most out of your device, whether it's watching free shows and movies via legal apps that might not even be available in your country or just helping you with small little problems. One thing I love of the streaming community is we all kind of help each other out. We all talk. Um, and for his case, I'm able to review his app. This is completely unpaid. I even paid uh, for the app itself. So we're gonna talk about if it's actually good, I'll be doing an honest review and what the feature does really. And if it's worth the price, yeah, that stuff. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, I'll be answering all of your questions for the first hour to two hours of this video. So drop a question down below, whether it's personal or it's something about your device or it's a video you want me to create, I would be happy to answer any and all of those for you. You'll even have a chance to be featured in my next video. Today's comment comes from AFTV News who gave me a big thumbs up. Uh, I thought I would shout them out today because they make so much content regarding Amazon. It almost seems like the guy works for Amazon or uh, you know, has people that work for Amazon. Clearly he has a lot of good sources uh, and I steal a lot of his content straight up. I go on his site. I talk about the stuff he writes articles on and he uh, continues to make it. So big shout out to him and make sure you guys go check out his site. I've even linked it down below in the description. Let's get into today's video. So today I'm on my Fire TV Cube. It You can do it on your stick. It really doesn't matter. One thing I hate about the Fire Sticks is how often they get clogged up, right? If you try to put a ton of different apps on here or load content, it's going to get clogged up because there's only eight gigabytes of storage, which only ends up being just under five by the time you actually use end up using your device with the operating system, etc. So there's not a lot of space on it. So we have to find ways to make sure we get the most out of it, make sure we're actually using our device to its maximum capacity. So Tech Doctor came out with a new app. Let's go ahead and review it. Now you can find this new app, which is going to help you close all your apps inside of the search function. I'll even explain how this app works, what it's doing, etc. We're going to type in Tech Doctor UK. I already installed it just for the sake of the video, but if you just put in TDUK and click here, you're going to see he has two apps. He has a cash cleaner, which is another good one. Okay. You can see it has 624 reviews, four stars, which is pretty good. Okay. So clearly some people didn't think it was worth the money, whatever. Uh, that always happens. If it was three stars, I'd be a little more worried. And then his new app, which has zero reviews so far, but I just went and purchased it for $199. Uh, I'm not even going to ask him to reimburse me, okay? Uh, we, we, we don't play those games. Maybe maybe, maybe a shout out, maybe. Uh, so we're going to click on the app killer right here. So I already have it installed. The cost of it is 100 and... I just said 100. Bro, it's not 100. $1.99. $1.99 US. I want to say, is there free apps that maybe do something similar? Yes. This one... From what I've heard, it's not going to take any of your data, none of that stuff. And you're supporting a creator, which is something that people forget when we charge little bits for these apps. I don't have my own apps, but he has two of them now. So let's open up App Killer right here. This is what you get to. Now, in order to uh, use it, we have to go ahead and turn on ADB debugging. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And we're going to talk a little bit about what this app actually does. So let's start with what this app actually does. Let's go to our settings here and let's go to applications. Okay, let me move my head here, my big ass head. Let's go to your manage installed apps. As you run your fi Fire Stick, as you're using it over time, you're going to get more and more apps. BBC iPlayer, Discovery Plus, ExpressVPN, Partner, Purchase in the description, Freebie TV, Fight App, HBO Max. Look at all this stuff that we have on here, right? Um, so you really do have a million different options on your Fire Stick. And as you're opening them up, people think when you launch an application, so we launch it, and you open it up for the first time, that once you open it up and you close it, that application is now closed. That's actually not the case. All of these apps that we're opening up, if we go here to uh, ExpressVPN and we open it up, uh, launch application, all these apps stay open in the background. And actually uh, on some devices, you can go and pick how many apps remain open in the background. On this one, you really can't, uh, but they just remain open. So you can actually have like, 30 apps open in the background and you don't even realize it. And that's a problem because it's slowing down your device. Although these aren't using up all your processing power, it still does take some power to run them in the background. And that's an issue. Now, 
the, the free way of doing this, the easy way of closing these apps is pretty simple and I'll explain it right now. Uh, it would be just this. We go into our application, we click for stop. That now closes the apps, okay? I'm gonna show you what the Tech Doctor app does. It's gonna save you roughly four or five minutes every time you do this. And I wanna be clear, if you use your Fire Stick often, you should be doing this every week. I would say, right? Just little cleaning stuff, right? And with his two apps, you can actually use them in conjunction to do it in just a few seconds. So let's now confirm, right? We're gonna launch this application. I just wanna launch a few applications so I can really show you guys uh, what we're doing here. So let's launch BBC iPlayer, which is probably still open for me. Let's launch Air Screen, sure. All right, so now let's set up ADB debugging. That's what I wanna show you guys now. So we're gonna go terminate. That's for uh, transmitting your iPhone to your uh, Fire Stick. If you didn't know, I'd have a video on that. You can check it out here. All right, so let's go to, uh, we have to get to developers options, right? Now to get into developers options, you can see I can have it right here. Amazon uh, recently hit it. You just go to your Fire TV Cube option here and you just click on it. For you, it might say Fire Stick 4K, whatever device you have. And then at the bottom, you can see it says you're a developer. That will then pop up, right? Now you can go into developers options and we can turn on ADB debugging. Now let's go back to our tech doctor app and we're going to make sure this actually force closed apps because we're going to go open up the same apps after and see if they're opening up for the first time or if they're coming from their home screen, right? So we're going to go to our plus section here. We're going to find the tech doctor UK app, which should be this one. Let me see. Head move. There we go. So now that we have ADB, we're going to go ahead and this is my first time using it, by the way, connect this device to ADB. We're gonna say, allow it. I don't know if I should hide that number on screen, whatever, who cares? So it has a few options here. You can see it doesn't do a whole lot. Um, we can count the total of running background apps. So let's see if this works. It says I have 10 apps running in the background right now. So let's go ahead and click for stop all apps. It killed nine apps. Now I'm assuming that means that there's one app that can't be closed. That probably has to do with, uh, their operating system, right? So it may be some sort of uh, app that needs to stay open, but now when we do count running total to zero. Okay, so there was a bit of a discrepancy there. Uh, I'm not sure where that one app, oh. Just gotta be smarter than the, the application. Obviously this app is now open. That's where that, it can't close, but then it doesn't say, anyways. It says it's did its job. Let's go ahead and let's check out ExpressVPN that I just had open. Uh, there's no running apps here, a recently used apps. So this is what we want. Let's open up ExpressVPN here. It's opening up from the home screen. That means it was in fact closed. We can close the VPN access there. Let's open up HBO Max, opening from the home screen again. Uh, I had March Madness Live open. opening from the home screen. So it clearly did its job. Now, whether it's worth the $1.99 price tag, that is up to you to decide at the end of the day. Um, I like it because it at least supports a creator. You can find free versions of apps like these online and including sometimes even in the, the app store. However, um, I trust Tech Doctor UK. He's a pretty stand up guy. So at least I know there's no shady business going on. Plus it's on the Amazon app store and they do review these apps before to some extent. So I think it's safe to use. Um, and as simple as it is, it does its job for $1.99. Now, if you guys want a chance to support me, you really enjoy the content, there's a really simple way of doing that. I have a link here for ExpressVPN. You can click on it and just check out everything here that has to do with the VPN. It can be used on all of your devices. I get a kickback whether you keep it after the 30 days or you don't. So even just trying it for 30 days and then canceling it still supports me. And I really do appreciate that. You can try your trial right here. It hides your privacy even from your internet service provider. You can unlock services such as Netflix, etc. And that is exactly why I'm able to use an app such as Freebie TV on my Fire Stick, etc. Even though I'm in Canada. Um, so simple way to support me, guys. Again, you can cancel it within 30 days and I won't be mad. Uh, and you get a bit of a product out of it, at least. Now, like always, guys. Thank you so much for watching the content. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one here where I show you how to get some live TV channels completely free on your Fire Stick. I'll see you in the next one.